my smart home created a workout plan and saved it in Obsidian for me. Let me show you a cool automation you can do when you combine Home Assistant with Obsidian. I'm going to use Assist to make this easier to view, but I'm telling Assist to create a document named Jim and fill it with a table that have workouts for shoulders and biceps. Okay, so it says that a document with a workout table for shoulder and biceps has been created. Here I have this uh, Jim document that just arrived and if you see the last modified like this was just created here's a document that it created it has tags it has a title pretty decent one and this is the table with all of the exercises muscle groups that it targets as well as the sets and reps for them and of course it gave a little blurb in terms of like what to do or, or uh, basically a little bit more of a description like this is amazing that this was able to create I don't know if this is a good workout or not maybe that's something that I can probably make a video about in the future and just like try out the workouts that AI tells me to try out but this is this changes a lot of things um, I'll give you a quick overview as to how I did this. Hey, I want to give a quick shout out to Trey B. Um, he put me onto this really dope plugin for Obsidian. It's basically geared specifically for manipulating the files via web hooks or web commands. And what makes it cool is that you can actually use that within Node Red, similar to how you would use my plugin. If you're new to Obsidian, you can get there by clicking on by clicking on settings. And then inside here, you can look for browse under the community plugins, and then just type in local, and then you can find the local REST API. When you install it, it tells you about like using, like if you want to use like the secure or encrypted HTTPS, it gives you like the API key and some other information. They have this really cool here. Let me show you. If you click on this online docs, here's what you get. You have this really cool page that you can see all the different types of commands that you can send via a webhook. So I have here this example where I'm using this put command, and this lets me create a new file in the vault or update contents of an existing one. And I'm just creating a brand new file. I'm calling it gymtest.md. And here's some information that I'm putting inside the doc. When I click execute, it runs. And if I go and check Obsidian, you can see here in the corner, I have Jim test and it added the information inside. So I was able to just create it using that webhook. But just to break it down really simply, uh, this part will listen to different inputs coming from different parts of my home. So for instance, this will get triggered, uh, let's say when I type in assist, like home assistant assist, like this will get triggered. And all this is responsible for is for choosing one of these, I guess, choreographed sections to choose. And in my case, it's going to choose this one, create new doc. Document. Uh, that one right there is responsible for actually generating the file that you saw earlier. And what I liked about the plugin, like the local uh, API for Obsidian, that plugin, is that it means that I don't have to use a node red that is on the same computer that Obsidian is sitting on. Obsidian is listening for these commands and I can simply create like an HTTP request to it, the one that you saw earlier, and it will then create the files that I send it. So GPT here is going to generate the file it's going to send the file via that request and then I'm just sending the information back to whoever called it so in this case if assist is the one that called it it's gonna send it back to assist which is what you saw from before where it's like hey I created this doc for you for those of you that actually bought access to my course all of this will make sense to you like you will look at this and be like oh yeah I get what this means I know how to do this and you'll be able to put this together yourself or even to look at this and be like bro I got you I can even fix this up to fit my own use case. Put a copy of the resources like the automation and the link to the plugin here in this post. And for those of you taking the Node Red course, uh, this will be in module six. Uh, I'm currently working on module six. Uh, this will be in that one. If you're interested in actually connecting Obsidian into Home Assistant so Home Assistant can see the files and actually manipulate and read it, uh, you may want to watch this video here. Uh, this video will give you another side to how to do something like this.